since we are now traveling, I think the number one concern that we had is how do we take care of Athira as we fly. We did actually tell our children, our girls, that Jada is part of their responsibility when we are no longer around. We have been doing many, many tests over the years since I've seen that, since so young. I think this time we really do have an answer. So, we'll be seeing Dr. Tan to update her on how Zakir Zakon has progressed. Okay. Dr. Tan is the principal doctor for Zakir and Zakon. Despite our intervention and all, they are still unable to speak. They do have other medical issues such as the orthopedic ENT and also the eye issues. Let's go. Hi, hello. Hi, good morning, everyone. Hi, Sakwan. Yeah. Good boy. Sakwan had a problem with the gut. He had a problem with his development. Uh, and also, his head size was not growing well. So when there are multiple systems involved, people try to think of a diagnosis that explains it all. Uh, and usually, genetics is one uh, that we think about. For Zakir and Zakwan, um, we didn't have a diagnosis. As we got new uh, tests, access to better technology, each time we would actually run the genetic test for them and really want to pursue it until we find a diagnosis. This question has been with me for the past 17 years. Why the twins like what they are? There has to be some clinical medical explanation to their condition. There are a few uh, discoveries that we wanted to share with you. The newest technology that we have is called long read sequencing. It actually reads very big chunks of the genes at one go rather than very small areas. So it allows us to look at certain areas of the genes that we couldn't see last time. It's a new technique that allows us to see the gene better. This time around when we looked, there was part of that gene missing. This gene is very important in the formation of neurons and the development of neurons and that's why it leads to learning disabilities and explains some of these developmental issues that they have. But you need to take a bit of blood from both of them and also for yourselves just to confirm this finding of a deletion in this gene. This is just to make sure that what we found are only the two of them and not the rest of you, that this mm. is the cause of their problems. We will get back to you with an answer and that can take a couple of months, up to even a year. Oh, good job! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! 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 I'm glad at least there is some explanation to what Zakir Zakwan is having. I'm not sure if it will make much difference now because they are already 17. Perhaps if we had known earlier, there could be even more that we could do for them. Your other children are coming on other days? Yes, yeah. they are also quite anxious to find out. This my daughter. Yes. What happens when she has her yes, own children? Yes. How does it affect them? Yes. Right. Yeah. So, In most cases, it only happens in the patients, meaning that when we test the rest of the family, mm. we actually don't expect to find this genetic change at all for your daughter. She doesn't have to be worried uh, that she will have also these problems mm. in her children in the future. After all these years, you have been patiently trying out whatever tests that we've offered to you. Thank you for your patience and I think it finally is paying off. It doesn't mean that we have a cure in terms of medication or anything. I don't think that's what we were really looking for. I think we were just looking for an answer. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Until the final results are out, I still have that doubt in me about the condition. So hopefully there's a proper diagnosis that we can help the twins develop further, intellectually or physically.
It's 3 a.m. now and we are traveling to the airport. Our only concern during the journey is Athira uh, and her epilepsy attack. The journey can be exhausting and we hope uh, she does not have her attack and we arrive safely in Mangalore. My husband Anand is turning 50 and we are going to celebrate with the rest of the family. Ever since we came to Singapore in 2011, this is going to be the longest trip for us in Mangalore. We are going to be there for around five weeks. Atira and Sienna have been diagnosed with a condition called Jamwar syndrome. This is about a gene called the UGDH variant gene that has not been passed on to our children by both my husband and I. And this missing gene is the cause of low muscle tone, uh, epilepsy, developmental delay, speech delay that our children uh, are facing. Did you meet everybody? Is Sienna happy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah yes. very good. Atira, are you happy, Atira? Atira is tired after the journey. Today's uh, journey was uh, hectic and tiring, but uh, all the more, all of us were happy that we are uh, going to our hometown. Yes. Lucky come. Hi. This trip we are planning to tell our parents and family uh, what the final diagnosis is about. Something which they will not easily understand. Hey Jaden, mommy is going to bring you to the park. Okay? Mm. Yes, yes, yes. I know you're very happy. <laughs> he's low muscle tone, so when Jaden put on his shoe, we had to actually put on this support to help him walk better on his own. Sit properly, huh? He enjoy going out with the siblings. The last time we had a proper outing was during the June holidays. It's been quite difficult to find a time with all our schedules. Zubin! Zubin! Okay, we are having picnic. Okay, girls, can you go over to the McDonald's over there and help us get some food? Okay. okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go! It's drizzling, so we have to find an alternative location for our picnic. So we found this shelter. And while waiting for the sister to get the food, I have to keep him entertained. He loves bubbles. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Crunch your fees, crunch your fees, and you... His finger, fine motor skill is not very strong. So these are some exercises that I will introduce during playtime. Yeah, just to get him to work that part of the muscle. My husband is out of town. On the entire year, probably maybe two-thirds of his time will have to actually spend overseas. Can be a little bit challenge ah, because as Jaden grows bigger, his weight actually requires two persons sometimes to handle him. Kids that were 30, 40 years were recently being diagnosed with uh, Pura syndrome. So we sort of know that Jaden's lifespan could cross that. So we need to actually prepare for when we are no longer around. Mm, yeah, right. Sorry. Don't do it. Don't do it. Jaden. 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 Ja
right now we're like trying to take responsibility over from our helper on like our parents to see whether we can take care of him on our own. Can you bounce? Show him. You need to bounce, bounce, bounce. Our parents have told us like what are your plans for the future if they're no longer around. The best case scenario is that one of us can live like in the same house or opposite Jaden. No, 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 no. I, I come okay. first, you chew one mouth, then we play. Ah. Yeah. So hopefully in future, Jaden is able to feed himself so that we don't have to really like worry that much about him. You in a cup, your mom? Do you want to drink water? Yes, no. Yes, Yes, no. it's this, it's this side. Your no, left. It's this side. No, it's this one. Yes. No, no. Yes, what? Oh, yes. You... It's a very daunting thing to think about the future, especially for them at such a young age. Part of me wants to go overseas to like study, um, but then there's also the thing at the back of my head, which is to take into consideration of Jaden's needs. Someone has to be there to look after him. Yeah. I also wanted to go overseas in the future. I was thinking maybe we could take turns, the yeah. three of us. Transfer your hand, transfer, move up, okay, good. Right now, I'm going to the age where I have to start thinking about family plannings. I'm not really sure whether I really want to start a family because I don't want to add an extra burden or like take care of my family and then neglect Jaden. Since they're still in school, once I start working, most of the burden should fall on me first. So that's why for that aspect, I'm still a bit hesitant. I think as long as we try to get Jaden to be more independent, then the burden will be not as bad on us. His approach to life is very happy-go-lucky. Just seeing him free and carefree helps us power through the tough times that we are enduring. It was in the month of December 2003 and she born in Mangalore. Her daddy first lifted her, then we also lifted and saw her. So we became proud grandparents. When she became three years old, she was not speaking, she was not walking at that time. The normal baby is to do such, such many things, but our baby was not doing. Uh, when second baby born, we prayed with the God that this girl may be a normal girl. She was better than Atira. She was responding very much. Then we came to know that she is a uh, not uh, normal children. How did you feel at the moment? We love them very much. <laughs> Today, um, Suman and me wanted to reveal and tell you what the genetic doctors have discovered that both Athira and Sienna have a genetic uh, 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 syndrome. And this genetic syndrome stems from a lack of a protein because the genes have not passed through them. So these genes are both given from the parents both the parents and if either one of the parents passed his genes they would be normal kids because both of us me and uh, suman have not passed it on it is not generating that protein in their brain so that is causing their disability of learning their motor movements there is no medication for now for these children now they won't help correct research will happen but for them probably they will not have that benefit.
जाल्यार आमची कशी आमी कालीन करून जाता आमचे ती कालीन जाता बरें पळोवन या कालीन जाल्यार ते आमी स्वीकार करचे स्वयं ताका दुसरी वाट दिसना We've always been uh, positive with our children, so we only ask you all to pray for them and uh, also to bless them. Always. We are also praying and we are also loving our children very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Love you. <laughs> we have finally come met the grandparents. told them what this is all about right so it kind of closes a chapter and i'm happy the way they have accepted things it is like we're going to fry okay we're going to fry eight pieces today ha huh? jaden usually is not allowed in the kitchen because we are afraid that he will pose a danger to himself. Jaden has been learning to cook in school. So during the Chinese New Year uh, Eve, we allow him to prepare one uh, dish to actually offer to the ancestor. Pray that uh ye ye ha protect ha Jaden ha healthy grow up. Okay? Next year smooth sailing. Yes, bye bye. 3 1 2 3 okay. Our hope for him is to be able to have some basic skills just walking cooking is one of it being able to feed by himself or drink by himself Mm is it nice One year ago if you pass a spoon to him he would just drop off the spoon but now we see that he's making some progress Mm very good We have the parents of one of the first few cases of Pura syndrome children in Singapore It's not easy, but having the diagnosis actually allow us to find out about this international support group. You will feel that you are not alone, lah. Uh. Their experience it may not be exactly like what Jaden has, but at least it gives us a different perspective on how to deal with it. This episode of the uh, uncontrolled eye movement has been actually occurring more and more frequently. Some of parents they say that it's actually overstimulations. But then Dr. Lai also alerted us that it could actually be a seizure. So she's trying to get in touch with Jaden's neurologist to bring forward his appointment. I think at this juncture we're just trying to be mentally prepared. Mm. Wow, see what what we're going to putting tomato, right? We're putting the tomato. For us is always hope that we might one day find a cure. We don't want to burden the other kids. But Jaden's little achievements every step of the way is a small win. I think as long as Jaden keeps on giggling, keeps on laughing, I think we did our best. Yeah. We are here today at Dakwan School for his award ceremony. He is actually receiving the merit award. This year he has shown a lot of progress in his learning. We shall now proceed the presentation of the mixed award. We have Her Amin Zakwan Bino Azwa. In spite of all the challenges that we have faced along the way, Zaki Zakwan has grown up quite well. We heard a lot of feedback from the teachers, from people around us. When they see Zaki Zakwan, they see so much improvement. So we are quite proud of them too. very exciting day for uh, all of us because anand is turning 50 happy birthday to you happy birthday to you dear anand happy birthday to you
The last time that we were here, it was before the diagnosis was completed. But after the diagnosis, now we can explain to everyone, it's a genetic syndrome and it has got a name now called Jamwar syndrome. So they've kind of taken that message well and hopefully they provide that support on managing them as their grandkids, as their cousins, as their nieces. Our trip in India is coming to an end. We've had a nice time with family and friends. Athira hasn't got uh, any relapse of her epilepsy episode. Uh, that is a good news. I just hope that through the research, some treatment would be found for our children and uh, our children are able to live a normal life.